Hey Periscope family, sorry about that. Toy's phone froze for some reason and we had to restart everything. So <clears throat> give you all give you all a chance to jump back in real quick. Thank you so much. <clears throat> we are back, we are back, we are back. Hi there, hi <clears throat> guys. So hey, yes, it's the weather. It's the weather. Once again, we're getting tornadoes here. And Chicago's been very stormy and they say it's gonna be all night. Hi, you know, electrical storms the whole nine yards. So once again, if you if you be so kind, we're not trying to Heart hoard, but as long as you're giving us a We did put the settings on private. It's at Marriage For Real, one R, F O R E A L, Marriage For Real on YouTube, okay? And send um, your request to see part one to us at marriageforreal at gmail.com, okay? And we'll send you the link and you guys can watch your heart's content. Some of you who have not seen it, it'll surprise you. Uh, it was a curveball for a lot of other viewers. But trust me, part two and part three are going to be just as good, if not better. It comes full circle, obviously, because we're still here. We are still <laughs> here, people. Praise God. Amen. Yes. And loving each other, loving the Lord, and loving life. I'm sorry. My phone is, is kind of going <coughs> off over here. And so um, I think what we <coughs> left off on, we were talking about, is everyone back? I'm sorry. This Is everyone back? Never lost faith. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think when we left off, we were starting to talk about the winter, the winter season of your marriage. Um, and with that being said, you know, the winter season is, is actually most times a very cold season. We live here in Chicago, so we have a different type of cold. Um, it, it's a season where it just seems like everything is going wrong in your marriage. Um, you, at the, in that season, you're actually kind of wondering like, why did I even get married? Um, you may not even feel like uh, the new video is 100%. Oh, as, oh <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Ms. Tika. Um, you, may feel, you, may, you, may, you may feel like, you know, why did I even yes. get married? Or or why? Uh, or like, you may, you may What not, did I get myself into? Right. Like Who is this person next to me? Right. Not let alone may not even like them. You may fucking even you love, love them. Sometimes, you, don't, sometimes. You, may even, you may even like that person. Yeah. And so when you're in that season, it is a very, very dark time yes. it's a very dark time in your marriage and um it, it, it's, it's a dark time but here's the wonderful thing about it yeah, yeah sometimes some, it's, it's, there's right. no light at the end of the tunnel sometimes there is no light yeah. right some, well sometimes you cannot see the light that's the thing you can't see the light there's always a light but sometimes you just can't see the light because you so deep dark you so deep down inside the tunnel or there's always a light it's a little pin it is. A little, it is. little pinhole of light that if you if you squint hard enough, you just might see it. But here's <laughs> but, <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Once you endure that season, oh my gosh, spring comes. But here's the thing. Spring does come. But if you endure your winter season, sometimes you can leapfrog right into harvest. No, you can leapfrog right into the summer. That's if, if you're, you can leapfrog right. Break that down. Yeah, he using, he, he, I really need the anointing right I got, right I got now. to know. Because here. That was deep. I got to know. Because here, here. I know y'all want to know. Give me hearts if y'all want to know. Because I want to know. I think we got one heart. I don't think they want to know, babe. No. It's another <laughs> heart. It's just kind of floating this way. They're like. Here they come, see? There Welcome you. back, Mary with, Go with Mary with Ghost. Thank you. I know you guys that we have a very bad uh, connection, and so we're, we're very sorry for this. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Um, if you do your winter season right, you can bypass spring and hit right into summer. And what does that mean? How does that happen? In the summer, in the, in, in the winter time, there usually is some a situation that is so 
heavy. Yeah. Whether it is infidelity, whether it's Finances, financial problems, a tragedy, whether it's a tragedy in your marriage, um, or in your family, or in your family, or it, or or it's just it's just a it's a very difficult time. I mean, it's like a very difficult time. And if you do this season like you're supposed to do this season, you can leapfrog right into summer. And this is what you're supposed to do in a winter season because you guys, how do we know? We just came out of one. Just came we out. We just of came out of a winter season. And it's actually for us, it was due because of finances. Yes. Um, we had just had a, a financial situation that we hadn't even had. Went from six figures a year to zero figures a year, literally overnight. Yes. Literally. Yes. And so. Lost um, house, everything. And so, everything. And so that put us in a really, really bad situation space in our heads, a really bad space with each other, and um, it, it, it was just a really, really dark time, and it was a very, very long season. Yes. It was a very long winter. It's one thing when you hit, a, you hit a spot and you recover fast, it wasn't a fast recovery at all. No. No. But let me tell you what that season did for us. That season brought us closer together as a couple. See, we learned from the previous winters we had experienced. Okay, and, and and one of the things, if you go through your winter and you repeat the same mistakes, that yes, winter is going to be that that winter is going to be much longer than possibly the Lord intended. Yes, Do you understand. So we were determined not to repeat the same mistakes from our previous winters. Yes. Okay, and this time instead of moving further apart, we clung to each other. Yes, absolutely. I was holding on to this woman spiritually, emotionally, for dear life. Yes. Because I remember what happened the last time when we did just the opposite. Yes. And we were determined not to repeat the mistakes of the previous winter. Yes. That's kind of like the old story of the ant and the grasshopper. You, you're going to keep catching me being the grasshopper. <laughs> I refuse to keep keep being the grasshopper not preparing for winter. Yes. You, 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 you understand? A hard head, like Dad always says, a hard head makes a soft butt. Okay. Brother wasn't trying to go through that again, not without her. And so this time, yes, we broke the cycle. Yes. We broke the cycle. We clung to each other. We clung to our faith and we endured. Because the truth of the matter is in your winter season, if you do not do that, and we know this in the natural in a winter season, you have to take cover. Oh, oh that's thank awesome. You so thank much. you. Thank Mary you. Mary with Thank you. She was a witness. Yes, she was. She was a witness. Um, in your winter season, like, like if you're out in the cold and you're exposed to the cold, you really have to take cover because if you don't take cover, you will die because yes. the the winter is so cold. And so, with God, obviously we took we we held on to our faith, but in this season we held on to each other. We took cover. We took shelter in each other, even in this season. Yes. Um. And you have to do that in your winter season. You should do that at all times. Yes. But more importantly, in your winter season, you have to make sure that you take cover. Um, and usually, and usually in in the winter season, thank you, Miss Tika. Um, <clears throat> things are exposed. Um, yes. When pressure comes, things become exposed. Your just like just like everything else, when the winter comes, naturally, first spiritually, when the winter comes, what does it do? It tests your car. Yeah. Okay, car. Maybe anything wrong with your car is gonna break down when the winter comes. Okay, when it comes, it's gonna test your house. Yeah. Anything wrong? Pipes not right? They gonna bust. Winter brings tests. Yeah. Okay. Period. And whatever is weak is going to get exposed yes. in the winter. Absolutely. Whatever's not covered, whatever's not sealed, whatever's not insulated. Oh, go on, go on now. It's gonna get exposed <laughs> once it gets cold. Preaching okay. Yourself, Let me quit. Let me quit. Let me step on this tee. I think you'll have no more. <laughs> I ain't got no more. <laughs> um, yes, you have to prepare. Absolutely. Yes. Um, and so and so in that season, if you uh, take cover, um, you 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 can make it through that season. And yes. it's really good the analogies that you use because in that season, um, things will be exposed. But Amen. here's this is how you leapfrog from winter into summer. If you address the things that are exposed. That's it. If you are transparent about the things that are exposed. When it came time in this season that we were just in. And we were talking about just how our finances was. Uh, was it, it was just. It was bad. Yes. And, and, you, and, and women. We talked about this before. It's very important for us to have that level of security. 
Um, and, and when and when and when you don't have that level of financial security, it, it it's a it's a very difficult place for women to be in. And for men as the providers, it's oh. a very difficult place for them to be in because, you know, it, it, they know that it's a responsibility. That's our identity. As, yes. As, as, as men, <clears throat> oh, that, thank you. praise God, as men, our identity is in our ability to provide and protect, mm-hmm. period. And when one of those is shaken, it shakes us to our core. <laughs> no 57. <laughs> no 57. Yeah, it shakes us to our core, you know, where you feel less than. Yes. A, 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 as a man, a, a, as as the high priest mm-hmm. of your house, you know what I mean. I felt less than, you know, and I'm, 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 <coughs> I'm scratching, I'm clawing, I'm doing the best I can, and she knew it, mm-hmm. you, you know what I mean. But it still, hey. it still bothered me at the core of my being. And so with that, she had to step up her wife game, mm-hmm. or else it would crush me, and she knew it. Absolutely. Because at that time, I was vulnerable. Yes. She could either build me or destroy me at that time. Yes. And she chose to build. And here's and here's the truth of the matter. Because this season was long. It was long. And it was a season that we had not seen in a very, 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 very long time very as far as finances time. is concerned. She was since we first moved back here from Kentucky. Right. So with that being said, I have to be honest. There were some days I felt some animosity. Don't think I didn't know it. And, and he and he would call me out on it like he would say, um, he's like, I, I mean, but here's the thing was I would tell him I'm like feeling a certain type of way. And he would say to me, I know I can see it all over you. And it was those transparent <clears throat> conversations that we were able to have. Or it was even me saying, babe, you know what? I know that this is a difficult time for us right now. Emergency. Yeah. And hot water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've been doing everything we've over doing here. Everything. Miss Tika. Um, <clears throat> uh, I know you're in, we're, um, we're in a, a, a we're, uh, um, yes, a wise woman built her house. Amen. Amen. We know that you were, I know that you're in a very difficult time right now, but babe, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. And it's so beautiful. Even though at that, in that moment, even our children was like, y'all, why are y'all stressing out about this? God has never left us before. Like he is not, he's not going to start now. Wait a second. On that point, remember we talked about last time about why that was last Sunday, um, your legacy. Your legacy, why the enemy attacks marriages so much. Our legacy stepped up. Yep. Our legacy stepped up, okay? When we were shaken, our legacy stepped up. Our they children were like, Dad, God ain't never let us down before. Why are you stressing? Yes. He's going to see us. I'm on all of them, okay? Yes. From the baby to the oldest. Mom, it's going to be all right. We've been through tougher than this. The Lord ain't going to watch us fail. And it was our legacy that stepped up. Yep, it our was. legacy endured. Yes. Helped us to endure. Yep. And I don't think to this day. I remember one time I was standing at the kitchen, and I'm not going to cry, and not if I watch this brother cry. My 6'5 son saw, me cry. saw it all over me. And he came behind me, and he hugged me, and he put his hand on the back of my head, and he said, Dad, it's going to be okay. God is not going to let us fail. Yep. And he does not know what that did to me. That my son held up his dad in, his, in a very weak time. <clears throat> And it gave me just enough strength to keep going. Yeah. That's why the enemy attacks our marriages. He doesn't want your legacy to establish itself. Yeah. And know this, our children are going to take that same faith with them <clears throat> when they build their teams. Yeah, absolutely. That was beautiful, yes. we, we And if you missed our previous broadcast, we are doing a, 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 a series on Sundays on why does the enemy fight your marriages so hard? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Man. Why does the enemy fight your marriage so hard? And um, the first one we did was just because of the power of agreement and just what the power of agreement does within your marriage, just the power of agreement, what, what agreement and unity does um, is one reason why he fights your marriage. And the second one was your legacy, your children, you know, your seed. And so we are doing that series on Sunday. So be sure to check in if you see marriage for real hopping on on a Sunday. That's what we're discussing yeah. Right now. And as soon as we finish that series, we're going to part two of the infidelity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Scout's honor. <clears throat> yeah, he would never boy scout, but we'll take it. Uh, <laughs> anywho, and so that so that's the winter part of your marriage. And and so we were talking about the transparency. If you are transparent in the winter part of your marriage, if you address all those things. Yes. Oh, praise, God, praise the Lord. Um, if you address those seasons, if you address those things that are vulnerable in your marriage during your winter season, 
I will guarantee you that will leapfrog you right into your summer. Yes. You won't even have a need for the spring because what the spring does, the spring, when spring comes, as you know, things start to blossom. Yeah, yes. basic communication Very is much key. So. <coughs> Absolutely. Very much so. Um, <clears throat> what the spring does, the spring, you'll start to see uh, things blossom. And so yes. after you come out of a winter season and you go into a spring, um, what you'll start seeing is the lines of communication start coming back up. Yep. Um, <clears throat> you'll start experiencing a little bit more hope in your marriage. That love feeling will start coming back. Not that love feeling, that in, in love, love feeling. feeling. Yes. Because that love will always be consistent. That in love feeling is not always there. You will not always feel in love yes. in your marriage. That is why you cannot go based upon your emotions. It is not about how you feel. Feelings are temporary. They are. They are They are given by situations. Yes. They are Absolutely. easily manipulated. They yes. can flow with the tide. Okay. <clears throat> feelings... As, no matter how intense they are, they can betray you. Okay, You have to have a, a firmer foundation than how you feel at that moment. Because trust, <clears throat> you're not going to always feel in, feel in love. Absolutely. Okay, Especially when real life starts kicking in and starts giving you them jabs and them left hooks. Okay, Not always going to feel that way, but I know the love is there. Even when I don't feel it, I know. I lean on what I know to be true. Yes. I know that she's got my back. Even when I'm feeling some kind of way about something she said, something she did, something she didn't do, okay? I got to ride that out knowing that that feeling is only temporary yes. because the history speaks for itself. <laughs> um, and so that's that in, in, the, in the spring. Uh, spring, what to do in the spring? And I'm going to have to go back to my notes, you all, because my uh, my my... You can check it out on the Marriage for Real Facebook page. And Instagram. And Instagram. She posted it's powerful. It's yeah. powerful. Yes, this is the season of the season of spring. It brings such excitement. If you have endured your winter season and didn't quite oh, recover goodness. as well as you would have liked, trust that spring You're right, is coming. You'll start to see the signs of life in your marriage and after a hard winter. You'll see things move. Everything won't be great, but you'll be relieved. Yes. That the lines of communication are coming back online. Yes. And you'll start feeling that spark of hope come back. And this season, so into your marriage. Take all those seeds and just start casting them into your marriage. So. So, so into your marriage. Saturate on yes. good ground. Okay? Yes. Water it. Nurture it. Sow it so heavy into this season. And if there are some things that have been left over from your winter season, address those situations. You said how? We're going to talk about that. <clears throat> so so um, address those situations that you did not fully recover from yes, from your winter one. season. Because prayers if one. not, if you don't address those things, it will send you back into your winter season. Premature. And won't allow you to go to yes. your summer. So make sure... Call a thing what it is. That's Absolutely, it. yes. It. Make sure that you address those things. Get rid of the weight from the winter time. Address okay. those things so you can walk into your spring and walk into your into your summer. Summer things like in the hairdo. Thank you, <laughs> Lee. I just took, I just took off the I just took Tammy off. <laughs> it's been here all the time. Anywho, um, thank you though. Um, where was I? How do you sew? How do you, how how do you sew into your marriage? Yes. One of the things I think someone said was prayer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Prayer that's is always one, in order. That's one. He said, wow. <laughs> uh, that's one of the things that um, should be consistent. And with, pray together. Yes. Pray together. Pray that should be one of the consistent things that you do in every season. Yes. Every season you should be, you should be praying together and praying for your marriage. But one of the things that you can do to sow into your marriage is to sow into your spouse. Yep. Someone said it earlier, a wise woman buildeth her house, but a foolish woman will tear it down with her hands. Yes. Being around people that are invested in your marriage. Yes. Absolutely. Well, that's, that's great. Yeah, that's yes. one thing that you can do to sow into your marriage. Be around people who are invested in your marriage, but you have to remember, we're the team. Period. So you really can't count on too much people outside the right. team. But that is a good thing. Hang, hang around people. Yes. yes Like-minded couples. couples. That's what gangs do. That's right. That's what we That's do what when we go to church. Do. That's what armies we do. We hang around people That's it. who think like we do. Yeah. People who think like we do athletes build hang, our marriage. Athletes hang with other athletes. Artists yes. hang with other artists. You, <clears throat> you hang with like-minded people because you reinforce, challenge, and you elevate one another. Absolutely. Okay, and so that's definitely a way to sow into your marriage. And as my wife said, sow into your spouse. How? 
all the little things. Yep. Make sure that he or she has what they need when they need it. Yes. Okay? Show that you got your back. It doesn't take big things. It takes little things. Make uh, time for each other. Make time. Even if it's sitting down watching your favorite show. Even if this is not your favorite show, if it's her favorite show. I'll yeah. sit down and I'm just like, okay, what we watching? Yeah. Okay? And that's sewing into my marriage. Mm-hmm. Spending time. You know? Doing the things that you know speak to your spouse. Yes. As we mentioned before, <clears throat> the five love languages. Speaking love as your spouse hears it. Yes. Not as you want them to hear it. Yes. Okay. As they actually hear it. So <laughs> grocery they, shopping. Uh, grocery shopping. <laughs> yeah, go grocery shopping with them. That make make his or her favorite meal. Yes. You, you know what I mean? Flower or card. You ain't gotta be flowers in the card. Either or. Yeah. You know. Um was it you who did that one thing that was uh, a gift every day? A little something every day. Was that you who came up with that? Or was that Isha? That was Isha. That was Isha. Our, yeah. our sister Isha did a little thing where it was a gift. A little small. It was for her kid's birthday. Yeah, but it was still something cool that you can apply to your marriage. Yeah. Okay, a small gift, a small token every day. If it's a chocolate or her favorite candy or uh, his favorite drink. You, 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 you know what I mean? Just something to reinforce that you all have each other. In my like life. sometimes what uh, we'll do is like because we do late at night we got cookie monster so we'll go bake a couple <coughs> cookies for each yep. other That's and it. we'll sit up and we'll watch a movie um, together. It's just a, it's the it's the little things that you can do. You can send each other text messages throughout the day telling each other how much you love each other. That's it. You can um you know what you know what you know that he or she got to get for work in the morning. Say babe, you know what I'm gonna do the I'm gonna iron the clothes tonight. I know we got to get in the morning. It's the little things that you can do in your marriage that will sow into yes. your marriage. Small yes. It's the small things. Welcome, Shannon. Thank Welcome. You. And that and and when you sow into your marriage in your spring su- season. That will make sure that when you walk into your summer season, that it will it will be it will be full, that it will blot that you'll see everything that was planted will blossom. See, in the summer is when, uh, since we're using this analogy of sowing and 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 seasons, you know, summertime. You know, we're surrounded by farms out here where we live, and I notice in the summer is when the stalks. Of corn are at their highest. Yes. Okay. Right in the right in the middle of summer, they're at their highest, but they're not quite quite ready for harvest. Mm-hmm. But you know what you're about to get. Yeah. You know what you're about to get. Yeah. That's your summer. Okay. Where all the sowing that you did starts to manifest. Yeah. And you see the fruit taking shape. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're anticipating a bountiful harvest. That's what summer does. It gets summer gets you excited. Yeah. You, you understand for what's to come next. That's what this is all about. You want if you endure that winter, you can leapfrog right into that summer. Yes, I'm more than ninety percent sure I'm pregnant. I'm kind of stressed because this will be our sixth child. Woo! Well, praise God. You Amen. know what? We talked about. I think. I think, Miss Tina. I think you may have missed our uh, our message on uh, legacy on why the enemy fights your marriage so bad. But your child, baby number six, if that is the case. Um, it's a blessing. It is a blessing, it's a blessing. Not from to be stressed. the Lord. Not to be Don't stressed. Don't be stressed. I know that you haven't figured out the logistics. I know that by today's standard, that's a big family. With the economy being what it is, uh, we don't know your situation per se. But obviously, six is a, is, is a significant number if it's got you stressed. But know this. Know this. This is part of your legacy. And the Word tells us that every good and perfect gift Comes from, comes from the Lord. And so don't, don't you know, one thing that I learned, this is really a side note, you guys, and even for those, I, I don't know if that couple is still on, um, yes. is that um, the emotions and feelings that you have while you're carrying your child, I can honestly say this, are the same characteristic traits that your child, you said we have five girls now and he recently lost his job and I'm not working yet. Oh, wow. Well, it's a good thing that you came on. Yes. At this time, you're in a season. You're in a season. You are in a season. Oh, awesome! Oh, awesome! Thank, Thank, you you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. You're 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 into your. You're, it sounds like you're entering your winter. Okay, and um, yes, those poems are powerful. It sounds like you're you're entering your, your 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 winter. And yes, if you were not feeling a sense of urgency, you would not be the mother that you are. Yeah. Okay. That, that trust we understand that, and I know that he's looking for a job. Listen. It, the season we just left out of, I'm telling you, the enemy was attacking. So, yeah. I was not getting, I was, I was getting turned down for jobs 
that I was more than qualified for and telling them I would take the cut, mm -hmm. okay? I will take whatever you give me, all right? I will take whatever you give me, just hire me, okay? And it was not making any sense. No one was calling, mm. okay? I was rocking interviews, filling out applications. We were in our winter deep, yeah. and it made no sense. All we can say is use this time to pull closer to one another and to God. Keep your nose to the grindstone, okay? Keep, he's got to stay strong. You have to gird him up. Yeah. Even, even, even when you don't, listen, I know that this woman, she, we both can't be in Lodabar at the same time. Absolutely. We just can't. Okay, we just can't. It became a rebound effect. I'd be here, she'd be here, and then she give me a, she give me a little something to boost me up. Boom, and now boom, we're doing this to one another constantly, constantly rebounding and supporting one another. I know my family's because of our situation. Yeah, I'm, I'm. We don't know your family situation, but we'll be praying on that. But once again, you and your husband are the team. Yeah. You and your husband are the team. Yeah. Okay, you understand. Don't forget okay. that. A house divided can't stand. This is where you guys have to, as we said earlier, pull, put your feelings aside and pull closer together and closer to God yes. while staying on mission. Remember, yes. all the other stuff <laughs> that the devil will throw at you is just just sparks to the fire, trying yes. to get it to rage. Do you understand? You understand? You all have to stay focused on the mission, and the mission is the success of of your family. And even in this, I'm telling you, if you stay prayed up, you stay supported of supported of supportive of one another, okay? Trust me, the Lord will your your summer, your spring, your harvest is coming. It is coming. Yes. Okay? Do not <clears throat> We got to a point and we knew it was getting really bad when we didn't look forward to waking up the next day. Joy was gone. Mm -hmm. Okay, joy was absolutely gone. We know that you're scared. We know that you're scared. And remember, the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yes. Fear is of the enemy. Yes. Okay, you have to, your faith has got to extend past your current circumstance, Sister Taryn. It's got to look further than where you are right now. Yes. Okay, faith is stepping over a cliff. And believing a step is there. Yes. That's what faith is. Do you understand? You have to continue. Hold each other up. This is where he needs you and where you need him yes. the most. If you see that he's down, even if your strength is failing you, get outside yourself. Uphold him and watch him reciprocate. We became, we started tag teaming this thing. We started tag teaming this thing. Mm -hmm. Really, we did. You know what I mean? There would be some times where, where I... I, I had I felt I had nothing left, but you know what? I had enough to give her. Yeah. Okay? Babe, come on. We It's going to be okay. You know what I mean? Sometimes not fully believing it myself. Yep. Okay? But I couldn't afford her to be down there with me. Absolutely. You, you, you understand? And I'm sure it, it was the same for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And you know what, uh, Miss Taryn? You, what I, what I really want you to do is um, shake yourself. <coughs> shake yourself. Um, and, and that may sound like a, a kind of a harsh type of, type of uh, counsel to give you right now, but let me tell you, when you are in the middle of a battle, when you are in the middle of a season where you are fighting for your very lives, for the lives of your family, for the life of your husband, and for your, life, your, your own life, even for your marriage, there is no time for fear. It is only time for action. So what we are going to encourage you to do is to activate, activate your faith, activate your prayer life. Yes. Go against everything that in the natural is contrary to what you are seeing. If he come, if, if another bill comes in, if yes. another shut off notice comes in, I'm going to ask you to say, I will not be shaken. Yes. 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 Put God the, Lord in the test. wants you to prove him. Yes. He says, <clears throat> Test him. See if he will not give you room where you will have not have room enough to receive. Okay? He wants you to put him to the test. My marriage is, please pray. I'm fine. We would, we'll, def, we'll, we will definitely, we'll, and, we'll get to that right Yes, we're going to get to that. But also, well, we want you to understand on a natural sense. My, my father gave me some, some 
some sage wisdom when we're going through. You know, I'm looking for these. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to hit. Nope. Do not be shaken. Amen. In the name of Jesus, do not be shaken. I'm trying to hit these home run hits with these jobs, right? And my dad said, Dwayne, you just need something to make you feel good about yourself right now. Mm-hmm. He said, you need to go ahead and go in and ride that school, drive a school bus. And I felt a school bus was so far beneath me from what I was making prior. I'm like, a school bus? Are you kidding me? You, are you are you serious? But that was my pride speaking. Yeah. That was my pride speaking because I'm man. I just I was making almost six figures a year. You talking about to go from that to a school bus? It was about a mindset of activity. It was about a mindset of productivity. It was about a mindset uh, that promoted me feeling as if I was moving forward in something. Do you understand? Was it what I wanted? No. Was the pay great? Absolutely not. I took my chocolate tail in there, and I started driving that school bus, and it blessed me. It changed my perspective. I felt a little bit more like my old self. I felt myself starting to, to come back online. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, the, the paychecks weren't that great, but just that forward momentum led to something else. Do you understand? Yes. And then it led to something else. You follow me? Now it's leading to my own business. Now it's leading to uh, more doors being open. Now I'm, I have another job where I make more in six hours than I made at the school bus in, in six weeks. Do you understand? But I had to take that step and put my pride aside. And yeah. the Lord let me know it was my pride that was hindering me. Okay? It, I was getting in the way. Now I'm not saying this is the, same, the case with you and your husband. Okay? But when you're desperate, when a man is starving... A rat tastes good. Okay? Off, yeah, we get used to steaks. But when you're starving, you'll do whatever it takes. Yes. Okay? When a man is desperate, I, there was nothing that I wouldn't do to provide for my family if it meant riding a yellow school bus. Okay? And I was taking bad kids to school. Okay? And, but guess what? I had a purpose for waking up in the morning again. The mornings didn't seem as, as dark. Now, that little pinhole of hope started to pulsate. And I could say, ooh, is that a light at the end of the tunnel? What? What is that? And then the Lord started moving as I got out the way. Yes. As I got out the way. Let the Lord move. But Absolutely. you all have to get out the way. Absolutely. Okay? A lot of the things that we feel, it's us in the way. But the Lord is trying. The Lord always wants to elevate his people. All Tests come prior to promotion. Yes. Period. And- and, and that brings us to the final season that we're discussion, discussing, and that's the fall season. Fall season is usually a time of transition. Um, yes, every marriage Amen. in the world for like, a- Absolutely. In the name of Jesus, um, yes. Um, that's the fall season. And the fall season is usually a season of transition. Um, and, and transition, you guys, you got to be careful because it's a tricky situation. Um, it's, a tra- yes. it's a season where... Um, it's uncomfortable because we, well, we went from that situation to, to more than enough. We went to that situation of lack, and it was a transition for us all the way around. We didn't realize that we were in a season of transition as far as for our own businesses, as far as even in our marriage. We didn't, we didn't realize this at that moment, but we were in that season of transition. So fall is, is tricky, and so Ms. Tierra and I said that to say, yeah, you're going through the fall season, and a little, like you're, and like you're going into winter, but there's beauty in both seasons. That yes. baby is a gift yes. to you in this season. You have yes. to hold on to that. I can encourage you to do nothing else but fight in this season. That's it. Fight for your life. If you, you stand on every scripture, you stand on every promise. You hold that man up. You do what you have to do. If you say, you know what, I haven't found a job yet, then you know what, go and listen to one of um, His and Her Money did a podcast on tonight. Oh, we're going to let you guys come in. Oh, oh hold our, on. Our crew just showed up. You guys, all of them are here at one yes. time, so wait a minute. Wait a second. We're going to introduce you to, to, oh. our, to our clan. So this is Jordan. That's Jordan. Hi, you guys. Hello. This is that's Morgan. Morgan. Hi. And that's Kennedy. And this is Kennedy. George yes. is coming in from college, you guys. Yes. <laughs> so this 
And then we have one more. He's missing. He's missing. Um, is yes. he here? Is Christian here? No. No, that's I heard somebody's ever say he's upstairs. Yes. No. Okay. Okay. So yes, this is our. This tribe. is who you all have heard this about. This is who we are. Yes. This is our. These are our babies. Say hey, kids. Hey. Hi. Say hey, everyone. that our Periscope family. Hi, family. <laughs> Hi. Yes. And so you guys, what have you? I'm glad you guys kind of popped in when we were going through this season, this past season of our life, when it was financially so difficult. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh God. That. Is, <laughs> what. Uh, they said hi, hi George Morgan and Kennedy. Kennedy. Oh, who knows your guys' name? She oh. said my name wrong. Oh, that's nice. all right. <laughs> Listen, oh, <laughs> um, oh. Miss Tika. No. Um, what was like? What was the hardest thing for you guys in this past season for us? We were going through these financial. We went through these financial issues. Honestly? Honestly, honestly, that's what this is all about. <laughs> to see y'all. To see y'all struggling. To see us struggling. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Same thing, just uh, watching the show going in. I don't know, just just wanting to, to help and stuff like that. Probably yeah. was the hardest part. So they, said, they said keep it one, she said keep, keep it 100. 100. <laughs> <laughs> so it was 100. What about you, D? Um, you know, to watch the struggle and then also being vulnerable, knowing that you can really honestly do nothing. And then the vibes in the house, it was like low. It wasn't really a family vibe like it should have been. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, this is 100. If anybody's going to keep it real, Kennedy will. <laughs> Kennedy's going to keep it real. <laughs> Thank you for the guys' hearts, you guys. Look at the hearts that they're giving you guys. Yes. Thank yes. you. What do you think that kept our family together during the season? Lots of prayer. <laughs> lots of prayer. <laughs> I think a lots of prayer. And, like, I don't know, like, psyching yourself out, like, it's going to get better. Like, you know. Is like, that psyching yourself out? <laughs> is that, or, is that, or is that faith? Yeah, not get no, better. no, 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 not psyching yourself out, but, like, Encouraging yourself, like this is not it. Like this got it. Like this, this can't be. This is a non-driving Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really wow. <laughs> it's K I N N I D I. No, they say my name wrong. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Morgan. What Morgan's M O R G A Y. Y'all forgot y'all other son. We didn't forget. Oh, we didn't forget. oh, you talking about Jeremiah? Oh, Jeremiah. <laughs> 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 we did not forget about him. My potato. Yeah, yeah, your my potato. Anything else, you guys? <laughs> About the season. What About the season. So I know that you were you are really encouraged. You well, you like you encouraged us a lot in the season. You all did. Sure did. What like how did you hold on to that hope? You wonder how I hold on to it. She said, "That's right. Keep it real. That's how you help others by sharing your truth." That's it. Go ahead, Jordan. Go ahead. Go, no, no, no. I'm just... uh, I mean, uh, if nothing don't bring you closer together, it's struggle. Um, that, that's what tests every relationship, even as families, is, is what what happens when you come out of something. You talking about floods down here? Floods, like, floods in the basement, in the being basement. up at six o'clock in the morning. We find, trying to find money to pay for a sub pump just so we can stop the <laughs> stop the water so we can get to church. It all hit at once. At There's one just time, all, a whole bunch of stuff bro. just coming at once. But um, the same thing that I will always tell my parents and my mom when I could see it was like really in the heart was that um, God never left us without. Uh, we we've never been to the point where where it was just over and we just we just had no more options. We always have to have something up the pipe mm -hmm. and then it always came through. So I mean, he would never lose it. I was every I always tell my mom or my dad whatever something's going on. I said he's never left us out before. So that's what pretty much helped us get through. And then I mean, it's always true. It always comes out. We always come out better than what we were before. We always come out smarter, especially as a family. We always come out stronger. Cause we did stay out of each other's way. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, did. We stayed out each other's we way. We purposely, even in this, yeah. in that season, mm -hmm. <laughs> we kind of stayed out of each other's way, and we knew that, you know, <laughs> we because you all we posted the family, we posted the Perry family creed that we all signed. Um, he said, "Amen." Amen. <laughs> um, but we, when we knew that each each other was was going through a difficult time. We we didn't we didn't like harp on those things. Yeah. We didn't. We, we didn't. walked we walked circumspectly. We walked very softly before yeah, each other. We did. Very we did. softly. Kenny, you, you said you had something to say? Yeah. Um I was gonna say please stop looking at me, man. I was gonna say, <laughs> like, I, I didn't actually take it very as everybody else did because I always lived as and saw my parents always make it work. And knowing my mom and my parents, they're so creative people. So creative people, especially my dad, always coming up with something. <laughs> always coming up with something. I knew there was gonna be a ray regardless. Like there's no way that we just cannot make it. Like 
With us, there's just no way. We just cannot make it. We always make it through. Period. I think we asked Morgan this the other night. This is the last question I think we can have for y'all. Looking at our marriage over the you you he's twenty one, she's, she's 20, twenty, and he and she's, she's 18. eighteen. Would you guys get married? We say it again. Would you guys get married based on our marriage? Would you guys get married? And I said they're the probably my my response was they're the only reason why I would get married. Like oh. I would only that, that's the only reason why I see my aunts and my uncles and my parents like they're the, I, I look forward to getting married because of she's because they're love, married. You gotta love creative parents. <laughs> Absolutely. What about you, Jordan? Uh, definitely. Uh, Looking at everybody else, I would I'm not a, get married. Like. I mean, always, always, always been uh, family oriented. So that's something that I always wanted, even at a young age. Uh, and that's just seeing my parents, um, just what? somebody that's just just down for you for whatever. Now, being down for you don't mean it's always nice because it's some ugly t- it's some ugly times. <laughs> this is watching marriage the both, for real. Watching the both of them, it was it was ugly sometimes. <laughs> where, I'm in the middle, and they like Jordan. Jordan, I'm looking at my phone I'm like, uh, he ain't nothing doing me. But, um, it just some. I mean, but it's just always just finding that person that's just gonna go through it with you, and that's some. That I'll tell you very seriously. You can't just be marrying anybody. <laughs> she said, "Come that's, on, nephew." Miss <laughs> Tigger is your periscope aunt. Auntie, that's right. Uh, okay. It's not, uh, hey. it's not about just marrying anybody. So that's uh, so then definitely just find the right person and yeah, build it from there. What about you, Dave? I always said that my ultimate goal in life is to have a family, only because, uh, like, when you okay. see, I see my grand, my grandfather love my grandmother. I've seen my. Lean down, face. I see my grandfather. I'm sorry, y'all. I see my grandfather love my grandmother. My uncle love my aunties, and then my dad love my mama. And then sometimes I look at them like, how, how, mm-hmm. like how, mm-hmm. but the love, like, it's just. I've never seen. I can never. I can't point at any other couple and say that they love like my parents do, like my family does, and that they're the only reason why I want to love. Aww. Honestly. Oh wow! Awesome. That's a do you guys have any questions for them? I know some of them. Some of you guys have like young have um have young kids. Um, they are really, really wise kids. Yeah. Or young adults. I'm sorry, they're not kids. They're young adults. Oh, they're yeah, they're young adults. Uh, oh, love and you. love hard. Yes. Um, I'm blind. He doesn't have his glasses on, y'all. <laughs> um, but um, they um, they have been a blessing to us. Um, and it, even it, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much, Ms. Terry. Uh, they have been a blessing to us in our in our family in our in our marriage. Um, we had told you before that sometimes the reason why we stayed married was because of them. That's it. We they were we, our anchors. They sometimes. were. <laughs> they were our anchors sometimes. Um. They were, but as you can see it now, all these years later, is that they were worth it. Yeah. They were worth um, sticking it out. They were worth sticking it out. They are so silly. <laughs> they got it out. Of y'all can say how y'all really feel. No, no, that's legit. That's really how we really feel, though. Like, seriously. You feel like what? Are we still talking about the marriage thing? Yeah. Why we get married? Yeah, like, yeah, that's, a, yeah. Uh, no. no, what you mean by that? No, wait, no. Kennedy was laughing, obnoxious, like, un- like just being obnoxious for no reason. Like family <laughs> love, nothing like nothing it. Like, that's sorry, right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Nothing, nothing like it. Nothing like it. And nothing like. Wouldn't trade for anything in the world. What do you guys remember most when you were kids? Miles said hi. We they get it from their daddy. <laughs> uh, what do you guys remember the, the most? Mary, shut up, baby. <laughs> what you mean? Um, you know, even as as growing up as young kids, what do you remember most? Because I think my question is for those who have young kids. Like, like was like we always say it wasn't the gifts and things that you all remember. It was it was us being there. Mm-hmm. All the basketball games. Yeah, and- they. Um, <laughs> I mean, uh, for for most of like us, which for most of our lives, which I supposed to be as children, we didn't we didn't see like the struggles and stuff like that. Even though it wasn't really, I mean, we were still we were still okay. It wasn't until we got older when we start seeing the struggle. And I think it was actually. A good thing because throughout the struggle and even the good times, even remember as a kid, it was always still about family, no matter what was going on, yes. whether it was money or anything, or mm-hmm. Christmas gifts, or times where we would have like four gifts on a Christmas tree, which is like not too long ago, 
Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. Thank it was, you. but it was, yeah, that was last year. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I know. One year, it wasn't nothing. One year, it wasn't nothing. One year, it wasn't nothing. Yeah, one year, it wasn't nothing. Yeah, one year, it wasn't nothing. Yeah, one year, it wasn't nothing. You don't even remember that day. Yeah, one year, it wasn't nothing. But the thing is, it was, it was, it was always, it was always about family. And now, I think that's just that's what I remember the most is we were just always together. Even if we didn't have nothing, like, like we ain't had no gifts. We used to, we'd be there on Christmas, like, all right, then we'd be sitting there looking at them. They're like, all right, guys, this year it's not no gifts. <laughs> but that's not what's room. important. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Since we're in gift stuff, the older you get. I know, no, that's crazy. I don't, but, don't that. but do you all, do you all, do you all <laughs> said something TV. very powerful, though. You remember that we were always together. We were always together. Mama was always cooking. And, yeah, we always, yeah. Had, we always had food. We always that's had always food. Had food. Yeah, that's the you know? Part. We always had games and, and family time. I remember, hey, how you doing? Hey, thanks hey. for joining. I remember Sugar Bowls. Remember yeah, Sugar Bowls? Sugar Bowls. Oh, sugar sugar bowls. And Jordan will always win. But Daddy would give us a little piece of candy because Jordan would like won everything. So when our kids were younger, my husband would always have Sugar Bowls, which means they would play I like video bowls. games, and he would have like a huge bowl of candy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the winning ki- winning person would just get what? Whatever they wanted out the bowl. Whatever Jordan. Because he played the most. Like, nobody <laughs> played more than him. Like, he played. Was, it was we so couldn't play. It, was, it, was so it wasn't fair. So, so hopefully this ministers to you, uh, Miss Terry, moving forward. We know that, you know, with the, the prospect of another child coming, you know, it's, yeah, we understand as parents we want to be able to, to give and give and give, but the most, most valuable thing you can give them is you. That's it. And that's, yeah. the, and that's the one thing we've always tried to give our children was us. Yes. You know what I mean? Us. And I, I, I can honestly say that now as I as we watch them flourish thank into you. thank you so much, into adults, you know, um, there's there's a there, there there's a saying that the thing that the thing that you spend the most time with yields the greatest results. And our greatest results we see in our children. Yep. You know what I mean? And in our marriage. You know, those are the things that were all, always paramount to us. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember when she told me she was pregnant with Kennedy. Oh, my <laughs> this gosh. This right here, you guys. We didn't have nothing, okay? We didn't have nothing. Mm-hmm. We were like, oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? Another one? What? I think Morgan was more, I think it was more devastating when I found out we were pregnant with Morgan. We, because you was in the police department. Because that second child. That was right there. That's a year later. That's that not even a year. That was like a, they took a. I did the math. It was in November, so you were here in August. <laughs> yeah, this is like a year between these two. You know? that, the, these two are 11 and a half months apart, and Kennedy is, um, obviously, we told you the age is a, a year and a half apart from Morgan. Mm-hmm. So we had babies back, and wait back a minute. Back to back to back. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, thank yes. Thank you so much, thank you. Yes, actually, he just came home from school for the weekend, and she just came home from school um, from playing basketball, and she just came <laughs> yes. Hey, this is what we did during the winter. Yep. Some good stuff can happen in the winter. Yeah. So, so yeah. So wait a minute. So yeah, they all, they all know, summer babies. Summer baby. They're all summer and spring, spring babies. Yeah, he's a spring baby. Yes. I told you about them some hard winter seasons. Yeah. So. That is That's disgusting, bro. So disgusting. That's so nasty. Winter can do some good things. No. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> yeah, so Miss Taryn, don't I mean even though it's even though it's a, a tough season right now, y'all on baby number six. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Not the reaction we were looking for. But no. it is a blessing. Winter yeah, loving, yeah. yes. Winter loving. Yes, baby number six. That's a blessing. Blessed yeah. is a man who has his quiver full. Yeah, that Amen. is your legacy. And you're looking at our legacy right here. Yeah. You know, and, and the story the story still the so just to laugh out loud, the kids. kids. <laughs> the story still hasn't been told yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if this is how it starts, I'm excited to see how it ends. Absolutely. I enjoy growing up with my siblings. Mm-hmm. Like my, my siblings are my best friends. Like I enjoyed it. If I'm gonna do a back to back to get it out the way, one. But two, like growing up, we like three peas in a pod. Like we were always together. You never seen me and him been in school two two we went to the same colleges twice together. This is our first year apart. Like mm-hmm. We, I've never been without him. I enjoy going to my siblings. And I've never been without them. 
<laughs> hey, at least you have a basketball team. Yeah, you got your own starting five. Right, you got starting five. And it's a club. That's right. Five, you got your own. This is a basketball household, Miss yes. Terrence. You got to understand. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Miss Tigger said she's the only child. This really helps with my spirits. I'm hoping this time we finally get a boy. Girl, you got five girls. Oh. Your co-husband. <laughs> a whole house full of personalities. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, with that, we're going to um, we're going to bid you good night. Mm -hmm. We will see you on Sunday um, where we continue our series on why the Emmy fights your marriage is so tough. We hope that we've been a blessing as you all have been a blessing to us tonight. And um, you all got to kid, see... That's so silly. <laughs> You all got to see. Y'all to see. I thought I was silly. This this house be live, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Sometimes I was like, man, y'all so hot, y'all so loud. Um, but hopefully, you know, we've been a blessing. If we've been a blessing, like Miss Miss Tika's already on it. Seven. She knows I know. Hit seven on your screen. Hit seven. What's put two K to flight. Amen. Yes. Put completion. seven. The number of completion that you all have received something on tonight, and hopefully that we blessed you. Just hit seven and hit them hearts. And as my wife says. We're here to put our 10,000 to flight. We want you to help you put your 10,000 to flight. And Jazzy, we would definitely be... Uh, Jeremiah said Kennedy. Oh. Uh, uh, Miss Jazzy, I would, we would definitely be praying. Seven, amen. We would be praying for um, your family. Yes, absolutely. And there was somebody else who was talking about this issue in your marriage. You guys, we, we honestly, every day, we do pray for your marriages. We do. And we don't believe that you found marriage for real um, by mistake. Um, we do think we got a little uh, prayer life. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Amen. Um, and so, and with everybody, we are a community on marriage for real. So everybody, we will continue to hold each other up because that's what we need to do. We'll continue to hold your families up in yes. prayer. Um, we'll continue to hold your babies up in yes. prayer. Um, and we just believe that this community of people, we can't do anything but but go up. Amen. Um, and remember, we want photos of you and your spouse so that we can celebrate you on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Send your photos to Max to marriageforreal at gmail.com. If you have any prayer requests, marriageforreal at gmail.com. Hey, That's one R, marriage for real. And we want to make sure that you make it just like we made it. Yeah, so follow us on Instagram at Marriage For Real, Facebook at Marriage For Real. So I wish I can celebrate. <laughs> You know what, Dino? We you missed the pro, you missed the broadcast, but go back and um and, and uh, replay it. Yes, it's this was a process. We are still praying for you, brother. Yes, we, we are. are still praying. We for are you. praying for. We're holding you up in prayer, brother. Dino. Absolutely. So yeah. good night, guys. God bless. We Bye. love you. Bye. Bye. Put your ten k to flight. Thank you. God bless. No, because uh, something on that head. <laughs> it was my hair. That's Stop broadcasting. <laughs>